Welcome to Hamburg. We're starting off in Hafen City. We arrive in Hamburg by train from Berlin. And our first stop is Hafen City and the old warehouse district by the port. Where lots of old buildings have now been converted into new businesses. Like this very popular coffee house where they roast and grind their own coffee beans. We arrive on a very busy weekend and there are lots of market stalls. So we've come all the way to Germany and we found a French market. Not sure what that's about. But it's not all French. I finally found the German part of the market. In fact, there are lots more stalls right up and down the port, as this is a very special weekend for Hamburg. And there are lots of ships and boats on the river. We watch a few of them coming in to dock. There are huge crowds watching the festivities. There are all sorts of big clippers heading into the quayside. The water is incredibly busy and the boats seem to have come from all over. We stumble across the entrance to a large road tunnel under the river, accessible by some huge elevators, big enough to take vehicles. And although largely pedestrian, there is a cycle path and roadway running under the river. But we walk to the other side, where we take the elevator back up to ground level. This gives us a great view over the port where we just came from. And then we take the ferry back across the river to where we started. Now we've been on the water too. We wander into town for something to eat and we find a good old Irish bar with live music. As sure as night is dark and day is light, I keep you on my mind both day and night. And the happiness that I've known proved that it's right, because you're mine, I won't fly. Next morning, and the sun is out, and we head back to Hafen City to see what's going on in the port. For today is the main event, and there's a lot happening. We head for one of the newest landmarks in the city, the Elba Philomani Plaza, which has a free viewing gallery, which should be ideal for seeing some of today's activities. It's interesting because it's a busy weekend with a festival on, and there's a huge queue of people waiting in line to get tickets to go up. We just walked across the street here to the visitor centre. Walked straight in, there was no queue, they gave us a ticket straight away. They got us past all the queues and straight up the tower. So hopefully that's a good tip for you. We've come up to the top of the Elba Philomoni Plaza and we're looking out on the Elbe River. This weekend is the 830th anniversary of the harbour and there's a massive festival with lots of boats going up and down the river, lots of things to see. And with that many boats, there's even the occasional collision. There are plenty of marshals on hand to sort out any issues. I'm finally going to try a fish sandwich. I'll settle for cheese. 
then it's back out to watch the regatta. Back at ground level, and you can even watch from the comfort of your own bed. Later, we take a trip into the town centre, where we find the town hall. This is the rat house. I guess it's where they keep all the rats. We carry on with a nice afternoon walk around the river. That's strange. Are we back in London? We have a look around Planton and Blumen, a city park. In the distance, it's a large spire, and we wander through the park until we reach the TV tower. But sadly, it's closed at the moment to the public. So we head back home, and in the morning, we're off for a day trip. Today we're off to Lübeck. So bear with us. The gatehouse welcomes you to a picture postcard chocolate box German town. Lübeck is a famous medieval town and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In the town square are craft and marzipan shops, restaurants, and the Rat House, dating back to the 1200s. There are a number of different styles where the building has been rebuilt and extended over the years. We decide to take a guided tour of the inside. Of course, nobody mentioned it was only in German. The ornate interior is fascinating, and our guide lent us an English guidebook to follow. We look around the various chambers and halls, which are still used today. and we finish off with the beautifully crafted depiction of the history of Lübeck. A few more spires until, well, we're feeling quite inspired. And all that sightseeing made us a bit peckish. This is like an alcohol-free cider. Isn't that called apple juice? We find a potato restaurant, and on the menu today are potatoes, starting with a potato soup. Was a lot of food. Certainly a lot of potato. A few more spires to see and we're done with the beautiful architecture. Of course we always show all the beautiful buildings on these videos but you never get to see any of the devastation that's all over the place and actually most of this town looks like Croydon High Street. And here we see some medieval dwellings. Then it's back to Hamburg for the evening. Next 
morning, we head to the Reaper Barn district and onto the fish market. Unfortunately, it's only open on a Sunday morning and today is Tuesday. So we decided it's our turn to get out on the water and pick up a ferry boat. Anyone will do. We'll just see where it goes. It pulls up at an interesting looking beach. So we get off to investigate. It looks like a good place for lunch, even if it's more potatoes. Today we're having lunch on a boat. And of course, we start with a potato soup. They do seem to like their potatoes here. Back on the ferry and we head back towards town and a few familiar sights albeit from a slightly different angle. So instead of catching one of the tourist boats today, we've been using a day ticket on the local public transport system. They have little ferry boats that go all up and down the river, and we've spent all afternoon travelling around them. And that's it for our very nautical trip to Hamburg. Next time, we're staying with the nautical theme as we head to Amsterdam. So don't forget to click subscribe catch up with us again soon on our next adventure.